Welcome back. Well, you've probably heard the term helicopter parenting, and you hopefully know that you shouldn't be doing it. Well, joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System to help us steer away from helicopter parenting is child and family therapist Jeff Ryland. Jeff, thanks for being here this morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, thanks. Can you define helicopter parenting for us? I know it's kind of a slang term. Sure. It's actually been a term uh, that's been around since the 1960s, and it refers to parents that uh, literally hover, that they are maybe overprotective, overbearing, overinvolved, and it can range from toddlers all the way on up to children who are now in college, where the parents maybe don't give their children opportunities to experience failure or discomfort. Uh, they are always trying to compensate so that their child has smooth sailing, if you will, and no problems. Yeah, trying to protect them from failing. Why is that such a bad thing? We think, oh, they sh it's okay if they don't fail. You know, they're not, they're, we're protecting them. But why is it actually kind of a bad thing? And, and that's a really great question because I think parents want their kids to be successful, but kids learn how to succeed through learning from their mistakes. As long as the mistakes aren't too big, they learn when they experience hardship, when they experience bumps in the road. And when parents steer them around everything, they never really have a chance to do that. And so we wind up having children who, who experience uh, anxiety when things don't go well, or who maybe wind up being uh, uh, overindulged and feel like they're entitled to have things happen a certain way, or they don't really develop good coping skills for life because they don't ever experience uh, problems that, that they have to figure out how to problem solve. So it gets in the way of coping and life skills. So when do we know the line of letting them fail or we should be protecting them? Where is that line? Well, there's a couple of good markers. One is when it's risky behavior, when the child is doing things that are clearly going to be dangerous, when they're playing too close to a fire, for example, or when a child is... is um, trying to think of another situation, when a child is, is doing something that, that might put them in harm's way and a parent can step in and say, no, it's not okay to take your car out in six inches of snow you've never driven before in a snowstorm. That, that would be okay for parents to step in and say no. I think in other situations when the, when the behavior might cause harm to other children or other people and the child just doesn't have the experience to know that this is not a good thing. So parents, when it's risky for the child or a danger to others, it's okay for parents to step in in and say this is not okay but natural consequences are great teachers so when kids don't get an assignment turned in or they forget to do their homework they get a lower grade that's okay when they forget to wear a jacket and it's colder outside and they wind up getting cold that's okay when they don't come down they don't like the dinner that the parents have made they don't get another meal they don't go out for dinner that night they go to bed hungry that's okay those are experiences that kids learn through those natural consequences if you will and probably the best antidote to helicopter parenting i think one of the reasons parents do that is because they want their kids to be successful it's for all the right reasons but there's also i think a something of a, um, a, a stampede effect that they see other parents doing it and so they want to be also a good parent and so everybody's hovering but it's overboard when when parents of college students are calling the professors to complain about a grading system as an example I don't think that happens commonly I haven't had that in my teaching experience but it does occur sometimes and it's going really these kids can fight their own battles at that level sort of letting them just go through those normal growing pains Jeff that's all the time we have this morning thanks so much for being here